Hello! Part 1 of this training session is all about how you create a new standard item. Part 2 will show you how you can use your system more effectively by adding more specialized information and in Part 3 I will discuss advanced item options. As you may know, there are two ways of creating an item, manually or by using the new item wizard. We are going to focus on how to do it manually. In your Store Operations Manager, go to the Database menu, click on Items and to create a new item, click on the New button Choose Standard Item and confirm with OK. The minimum information you have to fill out is the item lookup code, the quantity on hand and the price. But to use your point of sale system to the full capabilities you also should fill out the item name called description, possibly the extended description, the department and category, the item tax rate and cost, the supplier and the barcode type. I now will navigate you through the general tab followed by the Inventory tab and finishing with the Supplier tab. So let's get started. In the General tab, the first information you see here is the Item Lookup Code, which of course have to be unique. Followed by the Description and then, if you wish, also the Extended Description. The subdescription field can be used for any other information such like height or length of an item where it's important to know the size. Choose your barcode. In our country we use 12HB. Here you can change your mind if it's not a standard item you could choose to be a different item. Our item is not part of any metrics, assembly or kit item otherwise it would be displayed. Choose the department and category. For my item it's going to be in the department rabbit and in the category hay and bedding. You see here that my item tax rate is pre-selected. This is because my system has the default for 23%. If this is incorrect choose a different tax rate. My price will be 8.99 and my cost is going to be 350 and automatically the profit margin will be calculated. Now I move on to the Inventory tab. In the Inventory, the quantity on hand is something that you have to fill out. For example, in my case I have 14 bags of hay. Committed will be calculated on what you have committed to your customers in back orders or layaways. So this information will be filled out automatically and so will be the other ones. Available is what you have on hand minus what you have committed. On order is what you have placed in any purchase order and for transfer out is in case you transfer out into other stores or return to suppliers. My unit of measure would be in my case kilograms, it could also be liters or pieces. Then we have our history here which again will be filled out based on the information of previous orders that you have received. One information that is very important here is your reorder information. For example, my hay is a very well-selling product and if I'm down to 5 in stock only, which is my reorder point, I automatically want to have 20 new on my purchase order. So if I'm going to use purchase orders, automatically it will use my supplier, which I'm going to add in a second, and it will automatically put 20 on my list. Now moving on to, su to the Supplier tab. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to use purchase orders, suppliers would be an essential information. To add one, you click on Add and you pick your supplier. You can have more than one, but the first one usually is your primary supplier. Those information here will be filled out as soon as you have once ordered with the suppliers, so the costs and any other information will be automatically transferred in with your purchase order. Thanks for listening. And if you want to know more about how to use your system more effectively, watch part 2. Thanks your PSS team.